France has graced the iconic stage at the wonderful Winter Gardens. The likes of Taylor, Bristow, Lowe, Priestley, Van Gerwen, Webster, Park, Bardell, and of course, Laura Turner. Good evening, Laura. Good evening. Thank you for oh. an introduction. That was, I will say, mine was a very fleeting visit up on the stage last year, but enjoyed every second of it. <laughs> wonderful place to play oh, dance, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's not a wonderful place to lose any dance match, obviously, but it's a great place to play. The crowd, magnificent, the architecture, ornate, the stage, epic. Yeah, it really was, it really was. Kind of got that, that, that feeling of what it's like to be a debutante at the match play at the Winter Gardens. It's definitely an experience. I'm feeling that Mike the Decker is currently enjoying it. You talk about recent form, they played only Tuesday of this week. In Leicester, and a pro tour event where Cullen won by six legs to three. But this is the real deal in darts, and that is the real deal behind Joe Cullen watching the rock star bang in the first maximum of the 2023 World Match Play Darts Championship. Treble 20 would have left the ball and Cullen now with the chance of getting the early break of throw. Treble 19 would have left top, so neither player can take out a three figure out shot early doors. Need the tops. Yeah, pin that tops. It's got to be a good settler for Mike De Decker. So first to ten, as it says on the screen, but a reminder, in the world match play, the match must be won by two clear legs. Unless we get to 12 all, in which case the next leg will be a sudden death leg, so it could finish 13-12. At that point at 12 all, Decker's winning of the bullseye to win the throw in the odd-numbered legs would become very significant if we get that far. Good start from both of them. At the moment, looking comfortable for a hole in his leg. Double 16, and that's a whopper from Joe Cullen. The early fireworks from the rock star. World rank number 14, 32 spots above his opponent, a strong favourite for this opening match. But it's never simple at the match play. He's had his share of early exits, Joe Cullen. He was whitewashed in 2019 by Ian White, 10 0 in the first round. A real nadir that. But he did reach the quarterfinals when he lost to Gary Anderson in that infamous match when Anderson had a nine dart leg and Cullen missed match darts when he was distracted by a fly. He missed 87, didn't he? He did, yeah. 42. I think he's one of the one of a handful of people, Joe Cullen, who's actually had match darts against someone who went on to eventually win the match. Yeah, fly that believed to originated in Scotland, didn't it? <laughs> Migrated to the Winter Garden stage to help out Gary Anderson. It's a nice setter. The Decker now struggling to hold on to his throw, and in fact, will lose his throw now if Cullen can take out tops. For double five. Oh. Opportunity missed there for Cullen. Well, as Wayne Mardell once said, darts is about crafting opportunities, then taking them. Cullen created an opportunity, didn't take it. But De Decker has not punished him, and now Joe Cullen has got three more to break the Belgian's throw in the third leg. There it is. A 
Joe Cullen now has the lead for the first time, has to break the throw. That's what he wanted, and to get it early is even better. It's quite interesting what Joe was saying to, to Abby and what he said in pre-match interviews. He took June off, really did make sure he had a break, wasn't happy, obviously, at the beginning of the year with, with everything, and has come back a stronger player, did play very well at the most recent uh, Players' Championships. And doing very well up there at the moment. Some players prefer to rest, others prefer to play, and we've seen that. You referenced the uh, Players' Championship there, Laura. Some players prefer to play at it, others prefer to take a break. Gavin Price and Michael Van Gerwen amongst them. Each to their own. Also on the opening night menu in Blackpool, Cross against Gurney, Price versus Bunting and Chisnell versus Anderson. Quite a tasty menu for the opening night of competition. Absolutely, and the winner of this match gets to face the winner of Price or Bunting. That leaves double 16. He's about to replicate his earlier 143. Double 18 now. Mike De Decker looking for a three figure out shot. This for a holder throw. Colin there was it to go three one ahead. Well, for many years at the match play, there were three certainties death, taxes, and that Phil Taylor would win the match play. He did it 16 times, seven times on the trot between 2008 and 2014. There have only been 11 winners in 29 years. As I said, Phil Taylor won this title 16 Eight. times. Dodeca's debut at the match play, but his 23rd appearance in a televised match. He's won seven and lost 15 in his previous 22. We've seen him at the World Championship. We saw him at the Grand Slam in 2021, where he was white Ross by Wright and Sherrick. But on the professional darts tour this year, on the Pro Tour, he's a very decent record. He's won 44 of his 72 matches for a 61% win ratio. That's pretty good. He's definitely had one of those seasons that he's, he's very clearly improved. When you go back to say 2020, oh, just thought we're going to see our first related there from Dedeka. But uh, when you go back, he almost did lose his tour card. He was at a risk, and it wasn't for the fact that someone pulled out of the World Championships. He was the first reserve. But that actually kept his hopes alive. And since then, he has pushed on. Maybe not as quick as what we'd expect, but with the booming Belgium dart scene at the moment, he's getting. He's, to me, he's getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, he was off the tour for a couple of years, wasn't he? Mm. As well. So he's had to take a step or two backwards to take many steps forward, and now he's beginning to break into a bit of a trot moving forward. Double 18. Well, he hasn't really been doubled to Decker tonight, has he? So far, one out of seven for the Belgian. Yeah, it just opens the door here. Double 11. Another well taken finish there for Joe Cullen. Three and 84 before the break, and I think De Decker, the biggest thing he is making opportunities, he's finding routes to the double, just not taking them. Yeah, he's had six chances to throw at a double, Mike De Decker, and he's only hit one of them. Cullen highlighted that 143 out in the second leg of the match. De Decker, remember, took the first leg with a 65 check out, and Cullen has won the four that have been played since then. So it's been all the rock stars since the first leg. On song here at the Winter Gardens, oh, early on in the piece. Decker on debut here. 
have to go way back to 2012 to find Jim Phillips' first appearance at the Winter Gardens where he was knocked out by Justin Pipe, ten legs to four. But it shows just how long he's been amongst the leading lights of the game. Eleven years ago, he was on this stage for the first time. Decker himself, one of three Belgians here this year. Sat here for the big fish, not going to go. No 170, what about a 160? Nearly two treble 20s. He's got one there, another would leave double 10. Why give him one 74? 216s. Another miss down at double. Not this time, though. Gets another leg on the board, and that was the break of throw. It's quite often we say, isn't it, when there is a break in match play, who does it? Is, is there an advantage to the player who's perhaps not playing quite so well? Obviously, Mike Decker went out on that break, 4-1 down. Sometimes that stop can make you just reset, rethink. Well, here he comes here with his first 180 at the match. Well, there was a break, and then there was another break, this time from Dodeca. 180, 180. One eighty. Two of the leg and four of the match from Joe Cullen. One of this leg from Dedeka. So three maxis in the same leg. And Cullen looking for an eleven dart leg. Tops. Double ten. Big ask here for Dedeka. One six four for a hole to throw. The first one. There's a second. Oh, and there's a bullseye. Well, 30 seconds ago, Joe Cullen was eyeing up top for an 11 dart leg. And now he's shaking his head because Dedeck has just counted a 164 off 2 Trouble 19's bullseye. And that could be a real shift in the mood in this match. Is it ever? Huge darts here for Decker. You can hear the disapproval already of the crowd. They're expecting another nine darter, aren't they, this week? Eight in the history of the match play. The last of those was last year, of course, in the semi final game with Price. One of four in the calendar year for the Welshman. Oh, we said before, didn't we? As Cullen dominated that first opening mini session. As he comes back with a fifth 180 of the match. He's had three maximums in two legs, Joe Cullen. He's won that one. He was in danger of losing both the legs in which he'd been peppering the treble 20. But he holds on there to go 5-3 up. the reaction there from Joe Cullen. Oh, Decker on throw. 
not able to convert, not able to find trebles. Joe Cullen at the moment is hitting them for fun. Well, we've seen a 1 4 3 from Cullen so far. Wants trouble 20 for the ball for a 1 2 8. Goes ball anyway. It's a good set, leaf stops. break of the Dedeka throw in this match, there it is. And on the return from the break, Dedeka got back in the match, balled himself back in, but then Cullen has restored order by winning the last couple of legs. Goes 6-3 up. Taking his average over 100 in the process. Feeling doesn't matter what Dedeka throws at Cullen at the moment, he's just able to find a response. As Abigail was saying to Joe in the pre match interview, he's lost in the second round to the eventual winner three years running, latterly Van Gerwen last year, which is interesting news for anyone who's backed Price or Bunting. <laughs> Absolutely. Lollipop finish for a man who loves double 16 and he gobbles it up. He goes 7 3 in front. So Joe Cullen runs three legs straight at the back of that second mini session, having been rattled early on in it by Dedeka threatening a fight back. But Cullen now in complete control. He leads this match 7 3, three legs away from round two. Been Joe Cool tonight, hasn't he? The boy from Bradford. And bossing this game. Lost the opening leg, but since then, he really has bossed the hockey. And looking set now for a place in round two. His best ever at the match player quarter final, as we've mentioned in 2018. 43. But that year, he, he beat Gerwin Price, who was then the world number 12. Daryl Gurney lost to Anderson. And since then, of course, he's got a first major title under his belt, the Masters. And he has to be considered a live runner in any event as a possible champion, Joe Collin. Absolutely. Runner-up in the Premier League as well last year. He's definitely going step by step. Title, isn't it? That's the, you know that's the one which can really bump you up the uh, up the rankings. As you say, world number 13 at the moment, just on the just on the cusp of a top eight place. Single for double. Double ten important if he's got any aspirations of a five back because one two six really has opened the door to Cullen, and it's on now for sure. That still leaves the ball, and there it is, and Cullen was given the chance and he wasn't going to turn it down. Did not look a gift bullseye in the mouth, just smashed it into the middle of the board, took out the 1-2-6 to go with his earlier 1-4-3. Some exquisite finishing here from Joe Cullen, 8 out of 14 on the doubles. He was saying the other day that he doesn't practice doubles at all in practice. But whatever his method is, it seems to work because 8 for 14, any professional will be happy with that. Yeah, absolutely, he's been deadly at the, the business end of these legs. Perhaps I need to get some tips off Joe Cullen of how to actually hit a double up there. <laughs> and therein has really made the difference in the match because Tadeka has had 11 chances to throw in a double. And only hit three. And Cullen's had three more attempts, but five more successes. Oh, and yeah, 
as you'd expect the way Cullen's playing when De De Decca has missed. Just completely opened the door as we've just seen in that last leg. And Cullen's just been able to swoop up. Well, it's not regarded as an easy task to be first on the stage at the start of a big major tournament, but Cullen has made light work of it so far. Double 16 here, double eight. Yeah. And just into that break of throw. But Adeka will need more of those if he is going into round two. He's got to find a couple of breaks of throw very quickly. He can still afford to lose a leg, but that's the end of his wriggle room. He's getting very close to the point of no return here, Mike Decker, isn't he? Yeah. When you can afford zero mistakes. Absolutely, I think. So you kind of think race to ten, you think it's longer than the normal format, but like anything, time does it does run out. Yeah, you start with more sand in the egg timer, but it does run out eventually, and it's running out here for De Decca. Joe Cullen here in charge of this leg on the De Decca throw, and he can push the Belgian to the brink of elimination by going on to win this leg from this strong position. And even that leaves Joe Cullen in front by 17 points plus these. Yeah. 58 there puts Cullen on a finish, but De Decker with a chance to leave a better one. And he most certainly does. Fourth for the match there for De Decker, tenth of the match overall. Joe Cullen can't find the long-range finish at the end of his fingertips this time, so De Decker with a two-dart combo, which he can ill afford to miss. Double 16. Double 8. And he hasn't missed. And he's improved his double hitting in the last couple of legs, to be fair. Second consecutive, get my words out. Second consecutive leg there for the Decker, where he's he's hit that big 16, but been able to adjust and hit the double eight, as you can see there. Well, he won the sixth and seventh legs consecutively, didn't he? And then it went all the other way as Cullen ran three legs. And now we've just seen Decker win legs 12 and 13. Can he continue the streak? And he needs to. Forward to Decker leaves him on 96. Oh, Cullen unable to convert that 167, so 96 for De Decker. Oh, well, he'd be absolutely oh, furious with himself there, and he'd every right to be. Because this was the chance to get a break back. It may still be, but not if Cullen hits tops. No, I Tops. Double ten. Well, he's broken the Cullen throw. That's two breaks on the spin and the hold in between for Mike De Decker. Is this the start of an amazing fight back, or is it just a false dawn? Now we said he couldn't. Afford to make many mistakes to Decker has been better three consecutive legs as Joe fires in a seventh 180. Well, if he can hold from this unpromising position, De Decker will be back within a single leg of the rock star. If Cullen breaks, 
He'll be a leg away from victory. That's just how pivotal this leg is, the 15th leg of the match. Yeah, big last start there from Cullen. Down to 89 and just nine. Double eight for Cullen. But on this occasion, he has plenty of time. He can pull up the armchair and unwrap the cigar in this leg, you would think. Double eight. And that puts him to within a leg of uncorking the champagne as Joe Cullen resumes normal programming after three legs on the trot were lost to his Belgian opponent. the disappointment there from De Decker. Cullen nine, De Decker six, and now De Decker must win the next three legs to send this into extra time. And he'll do well to win this one from here. That's an eighth maxi for Joe Cullen. Yeah, huge darts there from Joe. You sense he can smell the finishing Ooh. line. Joe Cullen now two darts away from round two. Went hunting the ball for double 16. Well, he finds two outer balls to leave double 16, and that'll do in the circumstances because De Decker can only hit and hope. He's done the hitting, now he's doing the hoping. Joe Cullen, double 16 for a place in the second round of the match play. to keep the match alive for De Decker. So double 16. Is that awkward? No, not awkward at all. Yeah, good shot there from De Decker under that pressure. Three match darts missed by Joe Cullen. A last dart in hand skin saver for De Decker on the target that Cullen was flailing around trying to hit. Well, two legs now in. And De Decker has the darts here. Is there more mileage at the match play in this matchup? I wonder. Well, Cullen must be seething, really. He put himself in an absolutely perfect position. If you said to him before the match started, nine six up and three darts at your favourite double, Joe, do you fancy that? He wouldn't be able to get in the queue quick enough. <laughs> because he kudos to Dedeka, sticking in there. And we go with the sixth one eighty for Dedeka. Well, let's get it right. Cullen should still win from here, but he looked an absolute moral certainty a couple of minutes ago. But now he's almost embroiled in a darts match when he looked like just enjoying an exercise canter on the big stage. It's not done yet. It's not won until it's done. He's coming back for Shanghai on 20s, though. We may see another match dart incoming here for Cullen. He's already missed three. The single off the back of the treble. That's an accidental double, leaves double ten. It's still a match dart for the rock star. And he gets there in the end, Joe Cullen. He looked like absolutely cruising through the finishing tape. In the end, he staggers over the line. As De Decker threatened the most unlikely of fight backs, but it is the rock star who rocks Blackpool in the opening night of the match play, gets the win in the end by 10 legs.